Can you imagine a rifle scope that is so advanced that not only does it identify the target for you, but it also gives you the range to the target and also where to aim to hit the target every time. What if I told you there are two companies I'm aware of right now that are developing technology just like that for the military? A company called Elbit Systems in Haifa, Israel announced Arcus or the Assault Rifle Combat Application System, a built-in computerized artificially intelligent system for individuals on the battlefield. Listen to this, my dudes. Arcus provides passive range measurement, automatic ballistic correction, detection of fire sources, motion detection, the ability to shoot around a corner and from a hip, friend and foe identification, and weapon zeroing without the need to fire a single round. Arcus combat information is presented by augmented reality on top of the scenery that's seen through a helmet-mounted eyepiece. Soldiers operate the Arcus system by using a joystick button placed on the rifle's forward grip and a graphical user interface inspired by the gaming world. Listen to these stats. Arcus can detect motion 580 meters away or about 1900 feet. It can identify that motion as human or not at about 250 meters or 800 feet. And it can identify the target as friend or foe at 400 feet. Right here in the United States, based out of Austin, Texas, is Trigger Point Incorporated. They claim to have developed this breakthrough technology that puts jet fighter lock and launch technology onto a combat rifle, making sniper level accuracy available to the average shooter. Tracking Point actually claims that their patent pending intelligent digital tracking scopes will allow an unskilled sniper to accurately hit long range targets. In the description, you'll find a link to a video right here on YouTube that shows a 500 yard shot or about 450 meters. Man, can you imagine that type of technology on the playing field? With the tracking point system, the shooter tags a target by choosing where they want their projectile to impact. The tracking point computer now displaces the aiming crosshairs so that they indicate the bullet's impact point as predicted by the firing solution. Now get this my dudes, that rifle will not fire until the desired impact point selected by the shooter and the predicted impact point are close enough together. At a thousand yards or about 914 meters, most shots fired with the tracking point system should land within the width of a single hand. Now I couldn't find a price for the Arcus, but the tracking point will run between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. Now you guys out there might think that's a little bit too much for airsofters, but a couple years ago I played a night game where several of the players had eight thousand dollar night vision systems. I couldn't even make a move without being hit. I started playing paintball in the 80s and I have seen military technology that has a way of trickling down to paintball and airsoft fields. I don't think it's going to be long before we see something like this on the playing field. And I'll tell you right now, if it's available at a decent price, you better dang well believe that I'm going to get one and review it. As it stands, there's a whole lot of technology out there that some field owners don't even allow on their fields, like the full thrust. What do you think? If the Arcus or Tracking Point systems become available to airsofters, should we allow those things on the airsoft field? Until then, I have an awesome gameplay video right here, and I make some incredible shots without technology. This is Shrek, over and out.